Welcome back to Matter of Fact. There's a reality hidden in the data. Young children, babies and toddlers under age five are the most at risk. That's according to new research from Princeton's Eviction Lab and the Census Bureau. Each year, between 2007 and 2016, nearly three million children and their families faced eviction. Of those, about one and a half million were evicted. Carl Gershenson with Princeton's Eviction Lab is one of the study's co-authors. We found that a family with children had about a 10% chance of facing an eviction each year. That's compared to a 5% chance for a household without children. So just the presence of children in a household doubles uh, your, your, your chances of facing an eviction. Shortly after she gave birth, Melissa Smith and her infant daughter were evicted. Smith had been unable to find affordable childcare. And as a result, she lost her job and then her home. Just trying to make sure I wasn't out on the streets with my daughter you know, to try do whatever I could to make sure she had a roof over her head. Smith was able to find help through a shelter in Texas, including childcare. She honestly does have a little aggression, I think because of all the different change and not having all the words that she needs. There is research showing that children experiencing housing insecurity, for example, are also experiencing food insecurity. And when you look at the impacts that housing or food insecurity have on a child, they're very similar profiles, right? Uh, you have increased risk of health problems, you have worse educational outcomes, more behavioral issues at school. So these households are, I mean, they're, they're, they're being doubly impacted. When you dig into the numbers from this new report further, findings show a major disparity based on race. About 6% of white and Latino children living in rented homes and apartments face the threat of eviction in a typical year. But for black children, that number rises to almost 27%. Another way of thinking about this is if you look at the life course, when in your life are you most likely to be removed from your home, uh, thank, thanks to a court ordered eviction, it's when you are an infant or a toddler, and that risk stays very high uh, th through your 18th birthday. The study is really a first of its kind. Legal filings and eviction cases name only the adults and lease holders. So the researchers linked the filings to detailed census data, and this provided a more comprehensive picture, including family size, age, and race. It also revealed that while black Americans make up less than 19% of all renters, they account for more than 50% of those affected by eviction filings. I think maybe what shocked us the most, the most of all was the fact that even black households with high incomes were not protected from eviction risk. That a black household earning $80,000 a year still significantly higher eviction risk than white households earning under $20,000 a year. And it just really makes clear that you know, the, 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 the structural racism that underlies our rental market is so strong that uh, income cannot protect certain families from losing their homes. The Eviction Lab says it hopes this more in-depth look at evictions will spur policies designed to stabilize housing for families and children. Ahead on Matter of Fact, with climate change fueling